Hi, everyone, and welcome to Early Morning Prayer Request and Devotions. I hope everybody's doing good this morning. On our prayer request today, um, pray for Jamie. He's feeling discouraged and having a hard time with the holiday season. Amy's grandmother has an infection under the skin on her foot. She's on a med for it now. Pray that it gets better. Amy, how is she doing? Is she doing any better uh, yet? Is the medicine helping? Um, Beth's dad was diagnosed with Alzheimer's dementia two weeks ago. Pray for him. Jeff has cancer and doesn't get another scan until January. Pray for good results. Jimmy was put in hospice care this past Saturday night. He has cancer. Pray for him. Beth's minister's wife passed away. Pray for comfort for the family. Sean has melanoma and had his eye removed this past Monday. Um, pray that he's okay and that uh, he also has spots on his liver. Vicki G would like prayers for her daughter and everyone else dealing with mental health issues. Leela is in the hospital. Pray she'll get better and get to go home. Penny from LPN and Livelihood has the flu. Pray that she recovers soon. Becky is in the ICU and her kidneys are shutting down. Pray that she'll be okay and that they can help her. They were supposed to do an operation on her, and I'm sure they weren't able to do that, you know. That ain't going on, so. Okay, and our scripture of the day comes from Ecclesiastes 10. 12 through 14. Words from the mouth of the wise are gracious, but fools are consumed by their own lips. At the beginning their words are folly, at the end they are wicked madness. And fools, mu fools multiply words. No one knows what is coming. Who can tell someone else what will happen after them? And our devotion today is entitled, Trusting Our Future to God. In 2010, Laszlo Han Hanyex made the first purchase with Bitcoin, a digital currency then worth a fraction of a penny each, paying 10,000 Bitcoins for two pizzas, $25, in 2021, at its highest value during the year, those Bitcoins would have been worth well more than 500 million. Back before the value skyrocketed, he kept paying for pizzas with coins, spending 100,000 bitcoins total. If he'd kept those bitcoins, then their value would have made him a billionaire 68 times over and placed him on the Forbes richest people in the world list. If only he'd known what was coming. Of course, Hanyez didn't, couldn't possibly have known. None of us could have. Despite our attempts to comprehend and control the future, Ecclesiastes rings true. No one knows what is coming. Some of us delude ourselves into thinking we know more than we do, or worse, that we possess some special insight about another person's life or future. But as Ecclesiastes pointedly asks, who can tell someone else what will happen after them? Scripture contrasts a wise and a foolish person, and one of the many distinctions between the two is humility about the future. A wise person recognizes <coughs> that only God truly knows what's over the horizon as they make decisions. But foolish people presume knowledge that isn't theirs. May we have wisdom trusting our future to the only one who actually knows it. Where do you see temptation to control the future? How can you better trust God with your coming days? Dear God, help me to simply trust you today. And Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on our prayer list. Please help all of them with their different needs. In the Lord's name I pray. Amen. I hope you all enjoyed this early morning prayer request and devotions. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that 
so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. I hope everybody has a great morning. I'd love to see you later on a morning coffee break. Bye, everyone, and God bless.